Mr. Somali is not present, but he is uh, represented by our chairman of Startup Committee, Mr. Anand Sudarshan. On behalf of the I request Mr. Anand Sudarshan to kindly welcome with the plan, the on-site plan, a traditional way of uh, giving to our guests. So, Madam, kindly, the chairman kindly offer this plan to our honorable secretary, Professor Asukosh, um, secretary, Department of Science and Technology. I'd like to request Arnold to kindly offer a plan to Dr. Mark Hewitt, Vice President of International Strategy, Law with Mark Hewitt International. I'd like to request uh, Arnold to kindly offer the concept plan to Dr. Vila Sharma, Advisor in Health Technology, Development and Transfer, and to a receiving kitchen of our energy we have. I'd like to request uh, Anand Mukhani of uh, uh, the plan to Mr. Ravi Nagarajan, Head of Social Finance, Social Alpha Productors, a very valued partner of India and West Coast Bank, and I'd like to offer the plan to Mr. Kamesh Gupta, the Senior Vice President, Strategic Collaboration and Program Good Technology Character. I think we have been very fortunate to have Tata Press as our partner in 2.0 and very Happy to see how the program is scaling under their wisdom. On behalf of which I request the uh, chairman to kindly give us welcome address. Sharma, Dr. Sharma, Dr. Huvit, other dignitaries on the dais, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of uh, Mr. Somani, on behalf of uh, Fiki, uh, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the award ceremony being organized under the DST Lockheed Martin Tara Trust India Innovation Growth Program 2.0, India Innovation Growth Program or IIGP, as it has uh, come to be known. Ladies and gentlemen, IIGP has been one of the longest public-private partnership programs in India. It is in the, as Garankar mentioned, it's in the 13th year, and we are very proud of the program. Launched in 2007, jointly by Lockheed Martin Corporation, FIKI, and the IC Squared Institute at the University of Texas at Austin. The program has been a pioneering initiative to support Indian innovators with a much needed capacity building, hand holding, and business development support. The Department of Science and Technology, DST, DST and the Indo US Science and Technology Forum joined the program in 2008, thus providing a huge boost to the program. DST became a co sponsor of IIGP along with Lockheed Martin thus enabling a wider reach and scale to support large number of science and technology driven startups. 2017 onwards, the program was relaunched. The next version of the program is launched, IIGP 2.0. IIGP 2.0 saw several new partners coming on board, bringing additional and tremendous value. Tata Trust came on board as a co-sponsor to support science and technology to and social innovations, particularly. Further, Center for Innovation, Incubation and Entrepreneurship, CIIE, at the IIM Ahmedabad and the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, have also joined hands as implementation partners. Version 1 of the program resulted in the generation of US dollars 1 billion of economic value, that's about 7,000 crores, Indian rupees, and over 10,000 jobs, and we are committed to scale the impact three to four times under IIGP 2.0. I'm happy to share that IIGP features as one of the key programs when we speak of bilateral Indo-US science and technology tie. We have supported over 500 innovators and startups under this unique bilateral initiative. 
The program has constantly evolved to add new components such as seed funding, incubation services, and industry connects to provide maximum value to Indian innovators. Today, we have gathered here to identify some of the best technological innovations from across the country. These have been scouted through a nationwide uh, campaign and evaluated through several stages by subject matter and industry experts. I strongly feel that the enterprises awarded today will play a pivotal role in the growth of India's economy and will contribute immensely towards achieving our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's version of achieving US $5 trillion economy by 2024. Fiki is proud to be associated with the India Innovation Growth Program since its inception in 2007. And proud that Vicky is a key player in the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem, having established close to 20 PPPs with central and state governments to foster the Indian innovation ecosystem. These include innovation and business acceleration centers with the government of West Bengal, Accelerate AP with the government of Andhra Pradesh, and Maharashtra Innovation Livelihoods Acceleration Program, government of Maharashtra. Fiki has always been on the forefront of handholding innovators and startups who need industry connects. And we are also actively involved in policy advocacy when it comes to addressing challenges faced by Indian startups. And that's indeed one of the core tenets that the Startup Council that I chair looks at. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my immense pleasure to welcome all of you. Thank you, Alan, for the inspiration and the great address. A startup who are sitting here, Anand is a leader, leader in the industry. He heads the education fund, any company, startups in the education sector. He has a large portfolio of investment in India. Please do meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to show you a short video on IIDP 2.0, our journey so far. The request is to find me on the video, please. Resources, the mentoring and the funding. 
we believe that we can not only make this technology faster, but can be made a positive impact, not just in India, but globally. And the heads of all partners, and especially the Department of Science and Technology, Dr. Martin Corporation, and others, and of course the PPT led by Idi Gupta. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite Dr. Mark Hebert, Vice President of International Strategy, Dr. Martin Corporation, who is one of the founders of India National Board of India since 2007. We're very proud. Thank you and good afternoon. It has been uh, a really terrific couple of days for those of us who have the honor and privilege of serving on the jury to evaluate the candidates for the program this year. I can tell you that uh, for me personally, this has been such an inspiring experience seeing the breadth and depth of innovative entrepreneurship from across India. Uh, not just the great cities that are the heart of India's economy, but also terrific ideas coming from the countryside. And uh, I can tell you that myself and my fellow jury members uh, really have just had the most inspiring couple of days. It's been quite marvelous. Um, you've seen many of the statistics about the success of the program. It is one of the longest public-private partnerships uh, operating here in India. It is certainly a great engine for U.S.-India economic collaboration. Uh, the economic relationship between our two countries has grown dramatically in the last decade. Uh, we are participants in that growth, and we're intentionally trying to accelerate that growth. Um, I can tell you that um, we're very proud in Lockheed Martin of the success that we've created in this effort. We've seen new companies form. We've seen entrepreneurial partnerships develop. Uh, we've seen success of our startups. And really, that's only the beginning. I'm very proud to report that just today, Lockheed Martin signed three MOUs with alumni of the IIGP program. We hope that those relationships will turn uh, into strong supplier and industrial partnership relationships. So the program is going very well. Uh, we look very much forward to the next phases of this effort together. Uh, we're committed to the next phases of this effort. And as we look to the future, uh, we should think together about outcomes, continuing to reinforce the great things that we've done together, creating opportunities for more entrepreneurs to create more startups, making sure those startups are successful over time, making sure that we are active participants in helping those startups find their way into new markets and significant growth, and not insignificantly ensuring that this growing network of IIGP participants is close, connected, and mutually reinforcing, helping one another succeed over time. I'll just close with a word of thanks. Uh, we could not have done this over the last 13 years without our close friends and partners in these efforts. Um, I'll just in particular call out IUSSTF, IITT Bombay, uh, CIIE, and FICI, all crucial participants in the program, and a special thanks to the Department of Science and Technology and our friends from Tanta who have been uh, with us along the way and have really made this effort possible. For all of you who participated in the program this year and pitched ideas, I want to tell you we did not hear a bad idea. And our great dilemma was picking winners from this terrific body of contestants. You've all done a fabulous job, and you should be very proud of what you've done. To those awardees this year, I say congratulations and work hard. Our expectations are very high, and we hope to see great things from you. So thanks very much. Thank you, Dr. Mark Hebert, for your wonderful address. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now recognize some of the people from Rocket who are present here and also one of my mentors who founded this program. First of all, I'd like to give my respect to Dr. Ray Johnson when he was CT of Rocket Martin Corporation in 2007. He started this program to ignite the fire. I'd like to thank some of the Rocket colleagues, uh, Prakash, who is here, Matt Shankar, and of course the MD of uh, Rocket Martin India, Mr. Finshaw who have been so supportive
to this community of startup and the winners of IGP. I was told that these young companies, three of the young companies have signed the MOU with the world's largest company, Rocket Marketing Corporation, through this platform. This is a great achievement. I'd like to now invite some of our jury members who have an eminent uh, experience in evaluating their applications in industrial and social category. Uh, Mr. Ajay Bhutreja, uh, he is uh, a well-known experienced uh, specialist, technology specialist, from IIT Delhi, I'm in the world, and a long career in many tech companies. Ajay was one of the eminent industry jury. Please share the experience, Ajay. Good friends. It's been an honor to be part of the jury panel for track one. Uh, this is my third consecutive year. Uh, I have been sitting on the jury from 2016 onwards. I must say that every year I have been seeing better and better presentations and thanks to all the contribution made by various partners including CII as well as Tata Trust and Vicky and Lockheed Martin. I'd like to share some general feedback. A few points that I noted down over the last two days, all startups are great innovations and they're all trying to solve some genuine true problems. But many of them are trying to work in isolation. And we find same problems are being solved by certain other startups, including those who made presentations between yesterday and today, as well as in other uh, jury roles that I've seen. It may be a great idea for startups to learn from each other and try and see if they can solve the same problem and accelerate their journey to success. The second point that we have seen that many of us are trying to solve problems for OEM or corporate, and they think that OEMs and corporates may not be able to solve the same problem, while it's a good idea to start working with them, and many of them are willing to come forward and help you to do prototype development, simulation testing in their facilities. Uh, another very interesting thing is that all ideas look very great at the early stage, but there's a lot of gap between the commercialization phase to where you are today, and real challenges will come on your time, to bring the product to market and your cost estimations and to be able to compete with, with established players. Last but not the least, it's very important for all startups to start looking at what's happening, not today, but what will happen in the next few years. For example, we all want to work in the area of uh, energy storage. We are working in lithium ion batteries. And I won't be surprised if a year or two from now, there'll be people working on sodium based products to start working on disruptions which would be necessary for you to compete by the time you come into the commercialization. A few words of my experience from 37 years. I think unless you are a good listener, unless you are ready to call people who are more intelligent and experienced than you, unless you start working with people who are willing to mentor you, guide you, support you, you may not be able to solve big problems of mine. Thank you very much and good luck to all of you. Thank you very much for giving this advice to our young community. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite Dr. Satya Dash. He's a well-known social uh, specialist in social impact field. Dr. Dash. Good evening. Um, pleasure to be here. Dr. Sarma, Secretary DST, Dr. Anil Sarma, our colleagues from Dr. Martin, uh, Mark Witt and other friends on, on the stage. What lovely two days, um, you know, and so much of energy. Uh, what we did in the track two, I mean the track one, track two, kind of gives you a feeling of Olympics. And what a lovely Sunday we had, you know, about the sports that happened both in Wimbledon and in the cricket, right? So this is sports, innovation is a contact sport. Um, this 13th year of IAGP, represents amazing things. I mean, you know, I remember an old African saying that says it takes a whole village to grow a child. It has taken, you know, and we have similar concepts in India, the Russian River Kutumbaka. It has taken, you know, DST, um, Lockheed Martin, uh, Tata Trust, CIIE, all of them coming together to grow a uh, child, you know, almost like child. So, um, amazing concepts uh, that we presented. The social and the tech uh, side, 
We had wonderful 20 presentations. I represent part of the jury with amazing diversity in uh, jury members. I just, you know, call them out. Uh, Amit Khanna, Deepthi Reddy, Ravi Natarajan is sitting here. Sudhir Gupta, Karthik Chandrasekhar, Smita, Rakesh, Tapish Bhatt, Arati Nijavan, and uh, Prabhat Singh. So the collective wisdom of the jury was there, you know, we debated hard. Um, Ajay fantastically mentioned all the crucial points, I think that cuts across, you know, any domain of innovation. So I'll just add a few more in, in, in that sense. So, uh, you know, the 20 presentations that we had ranged from this uh, young startup trying to solve problems of language learning to rapid diagnostic um, to even finding you know errors in pipelines and gases and, and, and things like that. What we also I'd like to convey uh, to our young startups uh, that were there, besides what Ajay said, is that you should never forget uh, that, and I mentioned this, uh, I, I see um, Malkesh here as well, and we were there together in Naminagar a couple of weeks back. Never forget the power of uh, you know, six degrees of separation. Uh, it, in some way, I mean, in this group, we possibly know everybody, every soul uh, in, in the whole world. So how do we leverage that to push your innovation to where it matters? It is, you know, the doorstep of people's life. Uh, and use that. Um, we also think that you know certain presentations could have been more crisper. So really work on the elevator pitch. Think about you are stuck with uh, you know really high net worth individual in Burj Khalifa, and you want to ask him to convince her or him to you know invest in your idea. You know how do you do that? Uh, is is something that you've got to learn. And finally, I think, you know, um, all of these ideas represented, well, many of them were actually more beyond the concept and, you know, almost into the market. Excellent. I think we have to do away with our concept of regard now. And I think that really matters, you know. So, excellence is not an accident. Uh, it's actually an habit, uh, as I should have said, uh, you know, a few, few thousand, two million years back. Uh, so integrate that into uh, you know everything that you're thinking of or taking. And I must say, you know, I would be unfair not to call out the wonderful you know organization that has been done um, for both the tracks and definitely I think it is my track, you know, from the team, uh, the whole collective team and, and, and you know them all. So a big round of applause uh, to to the team as the winner. But uh, we also, you know, as I rightly mentioned, um, you want to take home learnings every day. So those who just didn't cut it, you know, do not think that that's the end of the world. Um, you know, entrepreneurship is really a grind. So all the best to everyone. And thank you very much for having me here. Congratulations, Shaw. Thank you. I invite uh, the head of social finance, um, Social Alpha, Tata Trust. Mr. Ravi Nathwadan, kindly share his view. Thank you very much. Uh, very good evening uh, to all of you. Uh, on behalf of Tata uh, Trust and Social Alpha, we're proud to be associated with IAGP and uh, be part of the uh, social journey of innovation and impact. Uh, <clears throat> as part, as uh, Dr. Dyer has said, I was part of the track one jury. And uh, th that one thing that came across and cut across into me is the passion. I think every innovator brought home the energy and the passion. I think that is extremely important that rubbed off. I felt 10, 15 years younger by seeing you guys. So it's extremely uh, good to see young, bright minds coming and sharing uh, innovative ideas to solve the problems that the country is facing for a better life ahead tomorrow. Um, on behalf of uh, Tata Trust, I wish to thank the uh, wonderful organizers, as uh, Dr. Dash said, that we felt at home. 
Uh, as you know, Carter Trust is one of the oldest non-sectarian philanthropic organization in this country. Uh, over 125 years of uh, time that has been spent in the social and development sector, going beyond the traditional ideas of philanthropy and working across multiple sectors. And over the last few years, have undertaken a paradigm shift in uh, funneling and uh, focusing on a few areas, which is health and nutrition, water and sanitation, urban poverty, rural upliftment, education, and climate change as prioritized areas to focus. Um, the other shift that has happened is they have taken significant amount of direct implementation of projects across multiple uh, areas, putting together certain seeded organizations to go and implement these ideas and come out with sustainable ways of solving uh, problems. They also provide technical support to some of the government programs, especially a significant technical partner to the aspirational district programs of BPIO in uh, designing and developing various support systems uh, to the leadership in the districts. And uh, there's a of, uh, lot of societal platforms that has also been initiated to support uh, in this uh, the enormity of the effort involves uh, presenting ourselves in 1,200 plus live projects at any point of time with 700 plus partnerships working in over 17 states and 450 districts. Uh, so the combination of this is going and learning from the uh, philanthropy culminated into the extension of uh, graduating the philanthropy into innovation by launching Social Alpha, uh, which is an arm that is seeded by uh, Tara Trust and uh, supported by Department of Science and Technology, which is primarily extending the philanthropy into innovation, incubation, and uh, investments to support uh, innovative uh, social entrepreneurs to create impact. The idea is to amplify the impact, catalyze the innovation, and harness the young entrepreneurship in this space. Um, the uh, innovation has uh, innovation for impact has uh, issues things like we have 115 million additional non-form jobs to be created, and India has some of the positive points like we're growing at a healthy rate, the second fastest economy in the world, at 7% plus GDP. We have 64% of our population in the working age, and we have 800 million plus mobile subscribers, 80% of the households having access to bank accounts, and 90 billion annual infrastructure spent. So all these needs to be channelized by way of an efficient innovation that has that solves the problems of accessibility and affordability. And it is these innovations that is going to help us bridge these gaps and solve the problems uh, facing the nation clearly. And therefore, innovation forms an important pillar to uh, solve the enormity of, of the problem. But one of the key issues that innovation faces is commercialization of the innovation, especially science and technology and innovation. This is where social also comes in as a platform to ensure and help these innovations from lab to market and provide the support. So in the journey in the last three plus years since uh, Social Alpha was Christian, we have evaluated more than 500 plus ideas and incubated close to 50 plus entrepreneurs and funded close to 30 of them and uh, spent more than four to five million dollars invested in these. And on an average, we launched close to three to four challenges across different thematic zones and continue to work with uh, new innovations. So solving the same problems by way of new innovative uh, ideas. Uh, so finally, uh, most importantly, uh, while we continue this important journey, one of the important issues is access of capital and resources, which is uh, in the recent survey that was launched by uh, Brookings, found among uh, social entrepreneurship the biggest stumbling block where 57 percent of them voted as access to capital. So uh, we therefore at Social Alpha understand this problem as in, in the process of launching 
India's first social venture fund that is specifically aimed under the alternate investment fund window to provide low cost long term access capital to social uh, entrepreneurs in the form of equities convertible and debt financing to solve the value of debt of differential between seed capital and borrow on funding as one of the key uh, areas so therefore we imagine an india going forward where entrepreneurs and innovators have free access to resources to solve uh, problems and create an irreversible impact for the uh, life of india and indians to live happily going forward thank you very much Ladies and gentlemen, the Department of Science and Technology is a very key spine support for all young startup companies. And we are so proud, so proud of the ministry and especially the Department of Science and Technology in supporting this initiative to uh, our startup and incubation activities. We have Professor Asuko Sharma, the Secretary of Department of Science and Technology, to give us a uh, special address. Good afternoon. I'm, I'm really, really delighted to see all the partners uh, together here for this very strong program, IAGP 2.0. So it's got three partners that put in money and effort, uh, which is Lockheed Martin, um, Tata Trust, which came on board in 2017. I remember that day very well in a festival of innovations in Rashpati Bhavan uh, that Tata Trust uh, became partners and of course DST. And then we got uh, three knowledge partners which is IIMA Ahmedabad, IIT Bombay and Fiki of course uh, which has been carrying this uh, forward in a very effective way. And then we got IUSSTF. Now I'm not quite sure about the role of IUSSTF, but I'm sure that they're doing great. Um, so as they say, well, you know, there many uh, if you have many cooks, they spoil something. But but this is an exceptional dish, uh, dish right? So that you add more cooks to it, you more add more spice to it, and it's getting better all the time, going from strength uh, to strength. So this is the 13th uh, event uh, doing this. And I understand that it's generated a lot of value. It's generated a lot of opportunities, created entrepreneurship. It's uh, did mentorship. It's got people young. Um, it's scouted for people. In fact, I want to congratulate people who are receiving prizes today. 20 uh, startups and 16 from colleges which are budding uh, startups. You can be truly proud of yourself because you are among, I think, 2,500 or some people who competed for it. In fact, there could have been 20,000 people who competed for it, but they just thought that the standards were too high. So they didn't really appear for it. So you can be truly, truly proud of yourselves in making the final cut. Now, of course, remember that some of you are not getting it now, uh, we, we do well to remember now that both success and failure are relative and they are transitory. So be prepared for what comes next and I'm sure that the best would come back to you. We are working hard on that. Now somebody mentioned the fact that Jugaad is not the way to go. So now those of you who are into scale up, uh, who are into start up now and then looking for scale up, uh, this, that's going to be a very challenging task and so some of the things I've learned from Mr. Harkesh Mithal who's sitting here, a very great driver in the constitution. <laughs> <laughs> so a great driver of innovation movement in this country even before it became rather fashionable about 13 years ago we all started this journey even before that, the uh, Department of Science and Technology started this journey about 30 years ago or so, and then was able to establish about 60 incubators across the country. In the last four years, we doubled that number. So what happened in 40 years before, and four years, the last four years, 
Now the number of incubators gone up to about 130, 40, 20, by different estimates or depending on how active they are and so on. But it's certainly a very large number. Uh, add to that the incubators of Atal Innovation Mission, which are coming up very fast, and you get the idea that there's never been a better time to be in uh, the startup business. So the question that faces for the startups is how to go from startup to scale up. And that's really the challenge. It was pointed out that Jugaad is not the way to go. Clearly, because Jugaad, it works. Um, I mean, it works today, but it's not scalable and it's not optimal. So it might not have a great penetration. And clearly, all startups start with some amount of Jugaad and a combination of disruption, disruptive idea, and Jugaad to get there. Uh, disruption in Hindi is also called Panga, so it's a combination of Jugaad and Panga. Uh, and then the scale up poses a special challenge, and the special challenge is to tra make a transition to business as usual, which is Dhanga. So going from Panga to Dhanga is, is a very long journey and it's a very, very um, challenging journey. Um, because, see, when we, uh, the startups are driven by these brilliant ideas, so it's basically driven by very disruptive um, funga ideas. But then when you want a stable business, you want to make a transition to a stable business, scale it up, then we need a different kind of crowd to hang around with us. Uh, you know, the MBA type, for example, right? And so it, it, there is a basic, uh, not competitivity, in thinking about how I think about startup and how I think about scale up. Um, so there's also the point that we want to, you know, kind of hold on to what we got. Right? So if we want to expand it, we want to bring in more partners, more resources. So that kind of dilutes my equity or my control or my power over the company. So it's entirely a psychological uh, aspect uh, that we would all need to address at some point in our lives uh, and, and, and let go and not have really the fear of holding on to really every school that I've ever used before. Now, those of you who are coming from colleges, those of you coming from startup thinking about scale up, those of you coming from colleges now would think about a startup. Startup, there are many, many government schemes available now. As I said, the Atal Innovation Mission offers many things. Uh, so does the NIDHI program or Department of Science and Technology. NIDHI is an acronym, so you can look it up. Uh, and so it would be National Initiative in Developing and Harnessing Innovation. Right, so NIDHI has got many different aspects, it's got many different components which all go into building uh, a startup. So it starts from awareness creation in mentoring, training, creating uh, business plans, uh, then up to some fellowship. Right? People still got to eat when you are doing something, you know, in terms of startups, so you need some fellowship. You need pre-incubation activities like prototyping and support for that is available, it's called Prayas. Uh, then there's also seed funding available, uh, up to one crore, which is about $150,000. It's kind of, uh, well, okay, with that kind of money, you can go to moon, but uh, you know, can attract more capital based on that. And um, also remember, $150,000 in India go a little bit farther than somewhere else in terms of hiring the manpower and so on. So that's all on the offer, and I think it's, like I said, never been a better time to roll up our sleeves and jump right into it, take some risks. When I go address people, young people in convocations, I often tell them the time to do it is when you are young. In fact, time to do it is when you are single. And after you are married, you cannot even change a TV channel. <laughs> and it's really true. My wife told me that. <laughs> so, it was great. Let's get into that. What, is, what are the other things that we need? Now, oftentimes we need startups, we need access to networking, we need access to information and knowledge, we need access, of course, to capital, and we need access to 
testing, for example, prototyping infrastructure. Now, there's a whole lot of infrastructure in our academic spaces, in our um, R&D labs and so on. Uh, by some account, about 20, 30,000 crores worth of scientific infrastructure is created in the country every year. But the point is, it, it, it's not easily accessible to somebody who is an outsider. Right? So that requires a uh, lot of effort to knowing where to go, who to approach, how to do it. So we have been, this year, starting this year, we have a new scheme which is setting up independently, professionally managed centers across the country, each with a cost of about 150 crores to begin with, which would have all sorts of these uh, gadgets, these uh, things, uh, both for fabrication, for pro rapid prototyping, as well as a whole lot of testing. And the idea is that the startups should have the first right uh, to these resources and the ease of access, a transparent access, so sitting anywhere in the country, you know where these resources are available at a reasonable cost. And so that should be really helpful for startups which are into hardware. Uh, hardware, and that's a hard part, of course, that we know. And so we need uh, you know, access to these resources. We are setting up three of these centers this year, and then every year another three or four centers until you get to about 20 of these, um, and that all of them would be accessible to MSMEs, to startups, to industry in general. So two thirds of the time on these machines is kept aside uh, for outside of academia and outside of you know government R and D systems. So I think that that's going to be great. I, I feel that this would be a kind of little bit of, at the, at the, at the risk of sounding at the cliche, a game changer, if you would. Um, second thing that we were discussing yesterday, clearly in order to scale up, or in, in fact, in order to have a good early direction for startups, it's good to connect with the industry, which is the established industry with established needs and if they can pass on some of that ideas, needs, directions, and hopefully some money, uh, then this, this would be great because then we know that well, if I had this product, if I had this technology, at this scale and this price, then is, there's, there's somebody to buy it, somebody has interest in it. So we have now thinking, and I'm sure in a month or two that we would put it in practice, is that if an industry is partnering with a startup, uh, so depending on the plans and everything, and if they put in X amount of money, then DST would also partner and put maybe a matching amount of money X into that startup. So that again would provide a very clear path ahead for startups. And finally, I was discussing here with all our partners, we think why is it called IIGP 2.0? IIGP 2.0, uh, when the rest of the world has moved to Industry 4.0. So we should actually get to be IIGP 4.0. So how do we do that? Any innovative ideas there? So the way we would do it is simply doubling the size of the program. It's very simple. So if, um, if we got 20 people now, 20 plus 16, so we should really look at next year to make it IIGP 4.0 uh, to double this number. By the way, I looked at the press release last year before coming here, and we said that this year we will be doing 100. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really, I trust Vicky on this. I, I really want this to be IIGP 4.0 next year. And please, everybody, all the DSP, um, um, Tata Trust and Lockheed Martin should watch out for this. We really have to make sure that Fiki does, you know, what we are announcing here, <laughs> you know, right? And, and not just be a lip service for a uh, for a press brief. Press briefs are good, okay, but we we, we, we should do things which are even better. So uh, I'm very hopeful. I, I would monitor it myself and let's touch base after a couple of months and see that we are all ready actually to, to scale up this particular program. So I wish everybody all the very best going ahead. This is a great day for all of us who are receiving something. 
we also received something at back, so I'm not going empty-handed uh, home here. But I'm, I'm uh, very happy for all of you, and I'm sure that the future is very positive. Let us go forward to the future to meet it with great energy. Thank you very much. I'm giving you a complete support to the program, and also announcing that you're going to double the award next year onward. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite our valued partner, Mr. Amish Gupta, Senior Vice President, Strategic Collaboration and Program, the Group Technology and Innovation Office, uh, to give us a sentence. Uh, thank you, Nirankar. Secretary Sharma, I'm sure you did not uh, recommend our staff not to get married. But I think uh, while you succeed in business, the idea is promoting that you should also try and succeed back home in changing the channel. Uh, Secretary Sharma, dignity of the lads, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from the Tatas. It's indeed a pleasure for me to stand in front of you on behalf of the Tata Group. Uh, my colleague companies who are there with us today, uh, Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Tata Power Incubation Center in Delhi, Tata Suns. To commemorate our association with the Department of Science and Technology, IIGP partners, and innovators together. It's an honor for Tata to be on this program and part of this prestigious, long standing association of uh, three years for us and 13 years on the program. For us on joining the program in 2016, collectively as partners, we decided to bring three distinct interventions. Uh, the first one was inclusion of social innovation. So the program today talks about social and industrial innovation at, in the same breath. The second introduction we brought in was the uh, concept of incubation. And the third one was building a linkage between the startup and industrial ecosystem providing us part of the opportunity to engage with the industry, validate their concepts, and try and enhance the use cases uh, for their innovation. I believe these three concepts set IIGP apart from any other program in the country. Pushing the translational research could be one way to push or bridge the gap between academia and industry partnership Similarly, I believe the immersive experience for startup with the industry probably would be a bridge for their journey between proof of concept to the market. Our collective effort in IIGP is an ambition to build this ecosystem. Three years ago, startups were tasked with the responsibility of curating the first industrial immersive experience for our startup. And thanks to my colleague uh, Prabhat and Jaya who are here from Tata Steel, we could take 16 of our startups in the beautiful city of Jamshedpur and they were hosted by Tata Steel. I'm glad to inform 120 top Tata Steel business leaders and champions did spend time with these 16 startups during the day. They did spend time on the pitch, what our innovators had to present. Our, our innovators also got an opportunity to present their innovation in a specially curated booth where the department heads and business heads at Tata Steel could interact one on one. And I'm very glad to inform 50% of those who visited Jamshedpur found merit in engaging further. And Tata Steel vice versa found it meritorious to engage with these startups to curate new business cases. Uh, these businesses and these technologies are not only sectoral focus or specific. I think these are spread across artificial intelligence, industrial IoT, healthcare, waste management, UAVs, and so on and so forth. And as I speak today, these are at a different stage of maturity level. The I think for the on the case for IIGP as partners on the program was not only these guys got exposed to industrial challenges and opportunity to engage with leaders, they also got an opportunity to expand the same set of technologies for multiple use cases and different use cases, which are going deeper into uh, industrial sectors. 
So it's not necessarily the target solutions are for steel making, but allied support areas as such. Uh, the critical outcome probably is what we're looking at, why it will help carbon steel in one way to have process improvements, but probably there could be some new business creation opportunity also for the startup and carbon steel together. So we want to wait and see how this uh, evolves as such. From IGB, please join me in thanking Jaya and Prabhat from Tara Steel for making this uh, happen for us and enriching IGB. Professor Sama, we appreciate and acknowledge your commitment on IIGP by, be, by being with us year after year on this day. Your unstinted support has helped maintain the spirit of the program. Before I conclude, I'll be failing in my duty if I don't acknowledge the support of court committee on IIGP who have stood behind the program and driven it to the shape where we are today. Uh, let me specifically call Divya and Iti from Fiki, Varda from Indo US Science and Tech Forum, Prakash from Lockheed Martin, <laughs> Professor Surya from IIT Bombay, Sushmita from IIM CIE, and very, my own very colleague uh, Atira from Tara Trust and Arti Rijavan from Tara Sun. We are all looking very good today because all of you contributed to the cause. To conclude, on behalf of Confluence of Tata Group Company, I would also like to thank Government of India, Department of Science and Technology, IITB partners, and especially the innovators and entrepreneurs for giving us the opportunity to engage on this program and contribute to Government of India's aspiration of future India with the startup. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to now invite Dr. Vivek Lal, Vice President of Strategy and Business Development, Dr. Martin, to share opinion. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here um, on behalf of Lockheed. As you have heard, we have supported IIGP for over a decade. When we started the IIGP 2.0 journey with DSP and Tata's, we took an intentional pivot to focus on sector-specific startups. Lockheed Martin, with our expertise in global security and aerospace and defense, lead the industrial sector. Tata's, given their breadth of operations and the focus on society, lead all the other sectors. We are happy with the results we have seen in the two years with IIGP 2.0. First and foremost, today we are announcing our intentions to work with three IIGP graduates. NOPO from 2017 batch, Sastra Robotics from 2018 batch, and Terrero Mobility from this year's cohort. <laughs> In addition, we recently hosted 37 IIGP and IDEX startups and MSMEs as part of the second Aerospace and Defense Conference, where we had 22 of our Tier 1 suppliers network one-on-one -on -one with these startups. We want to thank Joint Secretary Jaju from the Ministry of Defense and Mr. Bagla from Invest India for their support in making this program a success. Our Tier 1 suppliers were very happy with the interactions and we hope to see more collaborations in the future. Lastly, we are extremely happy that the University Challenge Track under IIGP 2.0 has seen immense improvements in quality year over year. Nine startups have been formed by the University Challenge cohort so far. This year, the two of the University Challenge winners have already started with their startups. We are happy to hear DSC's commitment to continue our partnership to take it forward under IIGP. As industrial sponsors, it is our honor and privilege to collaborate with DSC and TATAS as we will work with all stakeholders 
in the near future to define the contours of the new program. I congratulate all the startups and UC teams here. Keep up your passion and we hope you can leverage the IIGP platform to achieve greater success. Our implementation partners, CIIE, IIT, Bombay, IUSSTF, and FICI offer several resources and we really do encourage you to leverage them. Once again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.